Connor, okay, you wanna play games, motherfucker? Okay, I'm bringing out the young guns. Floyd Money Mayweather sparring with Devin Haney. Stay tuned. Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, hit the subscribe button for the latest and greatest in boxing. Now, I did a video about it. Floyd Money Mayweather, it looks like he was back in the gym. And he posted a, his, one of his fighters posted a picture. Now, the very next day, we get another picture. And it's Floyd with Devin Haney. And according to David, Devin Haney, who is considered New Money, that's, that's his nickname, trains with Floyd Sr. He says he just got six rounds in with the champ, Floyd Mayweather. And you see the picture in the thumbnail. You see it on screen. This is big, man, because... First of all, I told people for a long time, Floyd is an anomaly. Make no mistake about it. This this dude Devin Haney, he's nice with it. And first of all, that's that's a big that's a big look for him cuz he's been in there with already some great fighters, Shakur Stevenson and different things. I had the pleasure of watching uh, Devin Haney. This was this was actually I think before he turned pro and he was sparring at a gym in Oakland. And I actually have some of it, but um, him and his pops and his team, they didn't want the, f the video footage released at the time because they're still, you know what I mean? I don't think he had turned pro and they're still, you know what I mean? They're trying to build up his catalog and they want, they want to shop deals and stuff like that. So you have to be careful about what edits are, you know what I mean, are up and stuff like that. But I watched it live and I'll tell you this, the dude has hands, Devin Haney. And this was, he's like 18 now, I think. This was before. So definitely a good look for Devin Haney in his young career. I like what they're, I actually love what they're doing with him um, in terms of keeping him very busy and building him up. Obviously he's fighting in Mexico. He has an upcoming fight, things like that. And he, you know I mean? He fought on the, I think it was the Pacquiao versus Bradley three card. So he hasn't fought any big names, but this is, I mean, this is standard protocol. You look at Mike Tyson, who were the guys he was fighting in his first 15 fights? You don't really know them, but they still moved him fast enough, you know what I mean? Where beyond that, he was just very active in that first year. Then he started getting to a title shot, and Mike Tyson even became the youngest heavyweight champion of the world ever. So for Devin Haney's career, this is phenomenal for him to get that experience in with Floyd. And for Floyd, this is a huge confidence boost. Like, you know what I mean? Sparring with these dudes that are... 20 30 years your junior or what well not 30 that's a little bit extreme but Devin Haney's of the world 18 and Floyd's 40 actually yeah yeah 18 versus 40 like these guys are, are much younger he already proved that versus Canelo when he fought Canelo and Canelo was 23 and he was probably like 37 38 maybe and it, this is just overall a good look and it looks like the Floyd versus Conor fight is going down because, I mean, Floyd's already in shape. I, see, Floyd's sneaky. I'm going to tell y'all. I'm going to tell y'all why. Floyd's sneaky because this is his first day back in, in camp or his second day or whatever it is, but he already looks in shape. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And he already is, is sparring with the likes of Devin Haney. So to me, I, I really feel like Floyd, when the cameras aren't rolling, he, he's, he's doing little stuff because... I've been seeing his other fighter, Javante Tank Davis, in the buildup for his last fight with Liam Walsh, he just went out and started running. So the, the fact that you can run and keep up with guys who are much, Tank Davis is 22, you know what I mean? So you can put mileage in and, and be all right, it lets me know that you're at least staying in shape, which is, again, Floyd's an anomaly for these reasons, because I know other people, if, if they're retired, just like they say, they're retired and you know what I mean they pack out on pounds they're not really thinking about boxing you know what I mean? I've seen people like Brandon Rios and this is no shade to him it's just a name I came up with thought of and in between his fight with Tim Bradley he was supposed to fight Kell Brook but overall the fight fell apart and he clearly gained weight in his offseason 
and it showed up in the Bradley fight because Bradley's not even a notorious puncher and he was able to stop him so Conor McGregor might have some problems especially if uh, I, man I would love to see the Devin Haney spar in the sixth round I'm sure it was great work and, and whatnot but Floyd he stays in shape and, and for all the people and detractors that hate and won't give him credit for anything you gotta admire the man's work ethic if nothing else just because there's not many people in any division who can do things like this like take two years off from actual combat because sparring and training and light training and all that is different than when you're in the trenches and take time off and then still be good still run three or four miles with someone who's 22 and you're 40 that's it's, it's not really ordinary you know what i mean you've seen vladimir klitschko who he's refined his style after his like Corey Saunders, Lamont Brewster losses and stuff. And he was very hard to beat for a while. But then you've seen younger guys beat him back to back. Tyson Fury and then Anthony Joshua, who had nowhere near the pro level experience. He's a gold medalist and whatnot, just like Klitschko, but nowhere near the amount of rounds boxed. Nowhere near the amount of pro level experience that Klitschko had. And he just got knocked out. So, I mean, we'll see. Obviously, that's two boxers, Conor McGregor. That's not his immediate forte, but to me, these are the fact that Floyd has has been allowing the fighters in his gym to to take pictures that he knows they're going to post and stuff. To me, this is indication of he's probably coming back to fight, and the only name he's mentioned about coming back to fight is Conor McGregor. And I'm not going to keep talking about it. Conor McGregor, Floyd is not ranked. He's been retired two years, and. Is, is too many double standards in the sport of boxing. Pacquiao could fight Jeff Horn, and Pacquiao's a current active champion with the WBO at welterweight. And you got guys who looking like killers, like Keith Thurman, two belts in the division. You can easily unify winner gets three belts. Or Errol Spence, who just took his his step up and stopped a man right in the eleventh round. And Kell Brook, Errol Spence called out Pacquiao, but he doesn't have to fight him. He doesn't have to fight any of those guys, right? Danny Garcia, Broner even, he don't have to fight that. But Mayweather does. Mayweather's older than Pacquiao. Just because they fight different, there's still age is age is age. You know what I mean? So it's so many double standards in, in the sport of boxing. People hate the fact that, oh, it's because Connor's from the UFC. He's still a combat fighter. So it's not like Floyd just went into Publix and it picked someone from the aisle and like, yo, you. You know what I mean? Connor McGregor, he's still a striker. He's still big arguably bigger than Floyd, you know what I mean? I have to see him next to each other, but he, I mean, he's big, he's fought as high as 170, and he's still a professional fighter, you know what I mean? And I'm not trying to sell the fight, I don't care if you guys watch it or don't, I'm gonna watch it, you know what I mean? It's a spectacle, it's a circus, and most of the people who are complaining constantly can't get out, out of the videos that are talking about it, so you're secretly a fan. But um, yeah, man, this is, this is pretty big. Floyd, Floyd fighting with people like Devin Haney, but Devin Haney, I'm, I'm really checking for his career too because he's he looks like one of the people, one of those young talents that could have the rock for a minute, you know what I mean, have that torch, and this is what it's all about, so I'm sure this is valuable experience, and like I said, I, I respect that his team is, is keeping, him, keeping him active, keeping him with fights. And then he's getting the level of looks that he's getting. That's that's really big for his career. Sparring with names like like Floyd Mayweather, that's legendary experience that you can't you can you can pay for the best sparring, like get other sparring partners from other regions without names or even with names, but sparring a person like Floyd Mayweather is that's a lifetime experience. Even you look at Canelo, Canelo looks a lot better since he fought since he fought. And that wasn't even sparring since he fought Floyd Mayweather, right? So I'm looking forward to it. Devin Haney, his next fight is uh, World Fighting Champions Championship 73. It's June 24th. It's on a Saturday. Bob Hope Drive, Rancho Mirage. He's sparring with Floyd. Floyd's getting back active, and Floyd be talking shit too. Hopefully, I, that's, I think the buildup will be cool too. I remember the one. I think it was All Access. He was like, "Yeah, I eat pizza." I stay up late. I be with women all day. And these boys still can't fuck with me. They still can't beat me. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think. Devin Haney and Floyd Mayweather. It looks like they're sparring. According to him, they got six rounds in, which is good work for both of them. And to me, it's, it's impressive that Floyd, at his advanced age for boxing, it's not, 40's not old as a, just as a regular human, but to take contact 
it, it, you know what I mean, it's older for boxing, especially you know, training camp after training camp. And people forget, even though Floyd has a crazy defense and stuff, these are still fights. You're still getting, you know what I mean? Maidana fight, the first fight at least, was hard. Zab Judah fight was hard. So he still had some tough fights, tough moments. Even fights like Ricky Hatton. He Ricky Hatton, I think, staggered him a little bit in one of the rounds. You know what I mean? It's just a rough style to, like, to Matador. So let me know what you guys think. I love this. This is good news. Let me know what you guys think. Drop it in the comment section. Make sure you share the video. Like the video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video, it's Ego Sign up. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.